Katie Cannon, the Education Director at Carolina Tiger Rescue, and we are back away from the tour path with Hobie. Um, Hobie is one of our servals, and Hobie came to us in, uh, I believe it's 2008. Um, he was formerly a pet, which unfortunately several of our servals used to be. Um, the thing about Hobie is he's still that wild cat, so even though he was born in captivity, he retains that wild cat. Uh, those genes and those instincts, um, which uh, if you saw him feeding, then that's, you know, what he's going to do every time that there's food around. So these guys have the fastest paw strike of all the cats, a 60th of a second, faster than uh, a king cobra can strike. Um, these guys in the wild will actually eat king cobras. And the way they do that is they'll go up behind them, they'll use that really fast paw strike to whack that uh, king cobra on the head. It stuns the snake and then it allows them to catch that snake. Um, so as you can see, he's got really long legs and a really long neck and those massive ears. Those ears are used for hearing one of their favorite prey, which is rodents. Uh, these guys in the wild will eat three to 4,000 rodents a year. They're keystone species. They help in Africa, Africa keep the rodent population down. Unfortunately, um, Hobie has never lived in Africa. He can never live in Africa. Uh, he's lived in captivity his whole life. Again, he used to be somebody's pet. He was rescued from Asheboro, North Carolina. Um, this family had gotten him thinking that he, you know, as long as they loved him and gave him everything he needed, surely they could domesticate him. But unfortunately, that is never the case. Um, he started to eat things that he was not supposed to. Um, and they had to do several abdominal surgeries to pull out things like socks and flip-flops and strings. Um, and the problem with these wild cats is they are so used to or instinctually need so much stimulation but they can't get that in somebody's house, so they start to do inappropriate things like eating um, toys and socks and whatever is lying around. So the family decided at about three years old, um, they were uh, tired of spending money on the vet bills, realizing that they probably couldn't give him everything he needed and contacted us here at Carolina Tiger Rescue, um, where he gets to be that wild cat. He gets to catch whatever may slither through or go by. Um, but he gets to be the cat that he is supposed to be. 